I'm here in Tuya, Latvia, at the beach on a chilly March day. This is my usual camping area, so I'll probably be making more videos from here, but when it's green and sunny and warm. But I wanted to come up here early and make this video for you. Today's question is, how do you deal with the years lost to bad mental health? This is a question that so many people have to deal with. And there are so many answers to your question. Different people deal with those lost years in different ways. I'm going to share with you how I dealt with the three years I lost due to clinical depression in the 1980s. I spent three years in deep, dark clinical depression. I was fairly non-functional for most of that time. I had to suspend my psychotherapy practice because I felt I was in no position to help others when I was so depressed myself. Everything looked so dark at that time. I was fortunate to have built a recording studio before going into depression, and I was able to work one week a month on a fairly mindless contract and to make a great deal of money doing that. So the financial thing was covered, and it really helped a lot in some ways didn't make me feel better, but it still made me able to pay the bills. The rest of the time I slept, laid on the couch, wasted money, traveled to try and deal with the pain and to forget, moved to various places, and then slept again, hoping to die each night. All the money I made during those years disappeared. I have no idea where it all went. I barely remember everything I did during those years. I do remember some of the people I met, but many I have forgotten. I did a lot of stupid things during those years because I didn't care if I lived or died. I'm probably very fortunate to still be alive after all that crazy stuff. When I finally dissolved the depression, I spent another year recovering and making sure that it would not, could not return. During that time, I developed a set of practices for overcoming depression and tested them on myself to make sure they worked. I wrote about the entire process so I would not forget, and so I could share it with others later. I used the experiences of those three dark years to create a new therapeutic strategy for dealing with, overcoming, and preventing clinical depression. After that year of recovering and learning, I began my psychotherapy practice again. So four years, pretty much, out of my life. I may have lost three years in some ways, but I didn't waste them. I may not remember many of the details of those years, but I remember the lessons from them. Because of those three years of darkness, I've been far more effective in helping those with depression overcome it. I know what they are going through because I went through it myself. So when I tell someone, I know what you're feeling, they know I know. Years lost due to mental health are only lost if you learn nothing from the experiences and waste all the suffering you've gone through. It may not feel as though you are learning anything while you're in the midst of suffering, but you are. Suffering with mental illness is a painful and often invisible struggle. But every day, no matter what's going on, it's an opportunity to gain new experiences and insights to improve your future and to help others improve theirs. I would never call mental illness a gift, but it's something we can learn from. If we do, we have not wasted a single day. You can't go back in time and change the past but you can carry the knowledge, wisdom, understandings, and lessons learned into the present and the future for your own benefit and for the benefit of others. Create something of value from those lost years. And then they're not wasted. That makes it a little bit easier. So just remember, if you have any other questions about this, you can certainly write to me through lifesanswers.org. If you need support in this, you can contact me through lifesanswers.org. 
I'm here to help you. I'm here to support you. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. So for now, take good care, and I'll see you soon.